This is video four of our series on database queries in Microsoft Access, and we're going to look at how we can do separate queries in one query. So sometimes when you're doing a query, you almost want like two separate queries in one query. So if, I'll give you a scenario. So here we can see all these people have different divisions. So there's division A, B, and C, and there's different amounts that they've paid. So imagine if in one query, I want all those in division A that paid more than a thousand. And I want all those in division C that paid less than a thousand. Do you see how they, they're almost two separate queries? There's a query for A above a thousand, and there's a query for C less than a thousand. And you can't do them together. So let's try and see if we can do that query. So I'm going to go to create a query using design. As we said, we're going to go to tables, include the data table. There we go. Now, so this is what some people would do if they heard that. They would go, okay, we want the surnames and we want the names. And we need the division because we we're we've seen what division they're in and we need the amount that they've paid. So let's go get those fields. So we want all those that had an A. So I put the word A and got greater than a thousand. Okay. Now we also want the C's that got less than a thousand. So people think, well, it's can, the division must be A or C. And the pay date must be greater than a thousand or less than a thousand. And they try to do it in one line there. And so the problem with that is that we actually don't get any of the right data. Because yeah, I've got an A person that's got less than a thousand, which is not what I want. I want only the A's above a thousand and all the C's below. Oh, there's a C that's above a thousand. We want the C's below a thousand. How do we get them separately in one query? Okay, well, just to show you, if I just take this criteria out, you'll see this is going to do all the A's or C's that are greater than a thousand. So what we're going to do for this case is we actually need to use this all with each line is considered its own unique query. So let's take it all out. Let's start from the very beginning. So the first criteria we want is we want all those in A that got above a thousand. So that's one query. Or, and on a brand new line over here, we're going to say all those in division C that got less than a thousand. So it treats those two lines like two separate queries. So A greater than a thousand or C less than a thousand. Let's see if that works. So there we can see if I sort it, let's just sort it quickly by the, the A's. Do you see all the A's are above a thousand? And do you see all the C's are below a thousand? So there we can see that it's working. Now the little problem with doing multiple lines like this is if we have another criteria, let's say we want, let's just look at the data. Let's see if I can find a commonality between them. Let's say we want all those that paid greater than a thousand in A or those in C that paid less than a thousand, but they only made three or more payments for both scenarios. So the number of payments must be less than three. Now, well, the problem here is like someone will go, okay, well, we got those criteria. So I'll just go less than three for the number of payments. Now, if I run that, do you see there's a payment here of five? How can that be a five if we said less than three? There's another five. How, how is that possible? Because remember, it treats each line as a separate query. You'll probably find those fives are with the C's because this line is saying all those in division A that paid more than a thousand and had less than three payments or those in division C, they've got less than a thousand and it doesn't matter what the payments are. So I'll bet you if we look at it closely, the C's are the ones that are above three because that criteria didn't apply. But there is a C and there's a C. You can see that this criteria here does not apply to this line. So if you've got a if you've got two separate queries, but you've got one criteria that applies to both, remember to duplicate that criteria to both lines so that it's common for both of them. So now if I run it, you see those fives that disappeared. So it's all those number of payments that are less than three and the A's are above a thousand and the C's are below a thousand. So that's how you can do separate queries in one query. Remember to save it. So we're going to save it as QRY separate query. I should probably put an E there. Yeah, as I said, don't put spaces. Keep it nice and one word with a QRY so we know that it's a query in front. Boom. There we go. For more videos in this video series on access as well as other 
stuff related to cat go to our youtube channel subscribe click on the like button we'd love to hear from you so leave a comment and remember don't do the long way do the mr long way